We're standing here along the historic Groveton Sudley Road, about a half a mile uh, north of the small community known as Groveton. Uh, sometimes the Second Battle of Manassas or Second Battle of Bull Run is also known to the soldiers who fought here as the Battle of Groveton because uh, much of the fighting was centered around that community. Uh, off to our east here on the other side of the road is the historic Groveton Woods uh, and just to the north of us or northeast, or rather, it is the uh, track that the Civil War Preservation Trust is trying to acquire to help uh, preserve and add to the battlefield acreage. Uh, this area is extremely historic and important to the Second Battle of Manassas. On August 30th, uh, the troops under Major General Fitz John Porter formed on the opposite side of these woods the track that the Civil War Preservation Trust is trying to acquire, and uh, they were preparing to make a major assault against the uh, position held by Stonewall Jackson. Uh, Jackson held a very strong defensive position behind the embankments of an unfinished railroad no more than 500 yards off to our west on the other side of this open meadow. And it was around 3 o'clock in the afternoon on August 30th, 1862, that Fitz John Porter's troops began advancing out of these woods into this open ground. And they immediately came under a withering fire from Confederate uh, infantry along Jackson's line, as well as a massive concentration of Confederate artillery about a half a mile further off to the west, uh, where there were some 36 pieces of artillery. It was one of the few battles of the Civil War where Confederate artillery would dominate the field. While this attack uh, was certainly much more massive than all the attacks made the previous day against Jackson's line. Uh, the attack was not as strong as it could have been. Only approximately four brigades actually would close on Jackson's position. But uh, because of the fact that many of these troops uh, did not make it as far across this field or because of this withering fire, uh, the Union forces could not ultimately carry the position. Yet Jackson's line was stressed nearly to its breaking point. Uh, there are reports that along the line, Confederates uh, had to resort to throwing rocks at the Federals as they got close because they had already run out of ammunition. And if it hadn't been for all that artillery fire pouring into these Union lines, uh, the attack might well have broken Jackson's position. 